Hello, I'm Emma North, I'm the Head of SEO here at Kuzai, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the power of the Google Tag Manager data layer. Now, don't worry, it's not going to be too technical. I know I've put a little bit of code in here just to kind of explain my point, but I'll, I'll come on to that in a bit. Um, essentially, a data layer does need to be implemented by a developer. So once it's set up by a developer and you've kind of given the instructions of what you want transmitted through, um, you can then utilize that data from within Google Tag Manager without these kind of coding knowledge. This is just kind of to give you an example. So essentially what the data layer is, is it's key pair values. So in these examples, you can see I've got type, product detail, currency code, GBP. I'm literally saying, this is the metric, this is the dimension and this is the metric that I'm sending through. And you can have multiple objects in your data layer. So in this example, I've got a page object and an e-commerce object. And within that, I've got different uh, values being sent through. And you can have lots more objects than that, such as a user object that perhaps contained information about specific to the user that's logged into your site. And the power of this is really where, where you use this data and what you do with it. And this is tr what you, how you trigger it based on the variables that you're sending through. So it might be that you have a certain tag that you only want to fire if the value on the page is greater than 70 pounds. So on this particular page, when this data layer was fired, this would trigger because the value is greater than 70 pounds. Or you might say, if the page type is product detail, then I want this tag to behave in a certain way because I know the user's looking at a product detail page. So that gives you a lot of control in terms of what you can do with Tag Manager that you wouldn't have had access to before. Obviously you can fire things based on the URL or based on um, the user journey, but you can send data through to the data layer that you perhaps couldn't have got anywhere else. And in particular, this is how e-commerce tracking, certainly with Google Analytics, is fired through Google Tag Manager. So you must have this data layer set up with an e-commerce object to send that data through to Google Analytics via Tag Manager. Um, and you can even push data through to the data layer based on an event. So if a user clicks on a certain button, then you send an extra object or an extra value through the data layer that you can then utilize and say, if this happened, I, I want this to happen. And really the power of it is when you create the variables at the back end that for each of these things that you're sending through and you're then using that data to market in different ways to different people to send different data you can even fire JSONL decode using certain information that make allows you to make it dynamic and change depending on what you're sending through um, so there's there's a lot of power within it of course the caveat is that you do need a developer to implement this it's not something that an, an everyday marketer it's not something I could go and implement on a site uh, I understand the concept and, and this is the kind of basic concept of it but in terms of pulling this information through you want a developer to code that and map out where that information is coming from but once it's set up you can do so much more with Google Tag Manager and really the power of Google Tag Manager comes with using a data layer so I wouldn't be afraid of getting involved with this getting a developer in and saying that this is what I want to achieve I understand that a data layer is the way forward forward let's get this set up because it is incredibly powerful and it'll give you so much more that you can do with your marketing efforts so don't be afraid of it go and have a play and if you've got any questions give me a shout